Hey, in this video I'm going to explain to you why the original Crow was awesome and this remake is a pile of shit. The Crow, 1994. It's my favorite movie of all time because I've never seen a movie before or since that spoke to me on such a personal level. Don't you judge me. This movie is fucking awesome. Even the soundtrack is badass. There's lots of movies that I love, most of which are horror, but when someone asks me my favorite movie, I don't even have to think about it. I say The Crow, but now I'm going to have to specify not this. The whole thing just reeks of cheap cash grab and it oozes sleaziness. Uh, it looks like ass, it really does. They even delayed the release of it until August, which as we all know is where you dump the crap. This is a quote from a recent James O'Barr interview that was done before the remake was shot. The main point that people need to understand is that we're not remaking the Brandon Lee film. It has nothing to do with the Brandon Lee film. Brandon was like a little brother to me, and I would never do anything to betray him. The idea with this is that we're going to go back to the book and literally do a page-by-page -page adaption of it, so it will be much more faithful to the book than the Brandon Lee film, and the only reason that one wasn't as close as I would have preferred is they just didn't have the money to do it. Well, now they have the money to do it the way I'd like to see it. So if they allow us to do it how we want, it will be more of an art house film than a kind of shoot 'em up justice death wish type movie. What the fuck happened? All I can say is I hope it was worth it to crap out this pile of turds that no one's gonna watch. And not only is it gonna tank at the box office, but you pissed off a lot of people. It's just some flavor of the month bullshit. They tried too hard to modernize it and make it reflective of the times and shit when they should have just stuck to the goddamn source material. All they had to do was use the graphic novel as a template. It's, just, it's like paint by numbers. It couldn't be simpler. It's like falling off a log. I don't know why they managed to catch lightning in a bottle so succinctly, so perfectly. That first movie was like, Mwah! like chef's kiss. I mean, when you think about it, it's a pretty simple premise. Someone dies tragically, a crow gives them the opportunity to come back and avenge themselves. But how do they keep fucking this up? How do they fuck it up so badly? How do they keep making these movies worse and worse? I mean, it really shouldn't be that goddamn hard to write a decent script. That's pretty much all it is. The script is everything. I don't know how they keep dropping the ball so fucking hardcore, but I mean, Jesus, it's not rocket science here, guys. Just get a good script and everything else is just icing on the cake. You see, this movie would have opened so many doors for Brandon Lee. It would have made him a superstar. Well, I mean, it did, but he wasn't around to enjoy or reap the benefits. You know, they were wise not to try and mimic the 94 film so very much, but it's like it doesn't resemble that movie. It's really not based on the source material. So what the fuck is this movie trying to be? What is the demographic here? Who are they trying to appeal to? Who's your audience? Anybody with money, I don't know, they should have done something completely different with it. Like, not fucking make it at all. You see, this isn't just another remake for us to roll our eyes at and groan over like, oh, another piece of shit. Someone died making this movie, okay? It's like sacred ground. It's not to be fucked with. Brandon Lee paid the ultimate price to bring this project to life. It was the role that he was most proud of. It would have been his breakout role. Obviously, it got lots of attention for being his last movie and all the tragic stories surrounding it and everything, but if Brandon Lee hadn't died making it, it still would have been successful because it kicks ass. The fact that it was even completed and released is nothing short of amazing. It was originally a Paramount movie, but once Brandon Lee got killed on the set, Paramount wanted nothing more to do it. They washed their hands of it. They didn't want to be associated with that. They didn't want to be accused of profiting from someone's death. 
So they dropped it like a hot potato. I mean, it's bad enough that he died making a piece of entertainment, but if it had been shelved after the fact and we never got to see it, then he basically would have died for nothing. Of course, uh, it pretty much owes its existence to corporate greed and, uh, well, let's just say that sometimes evil can inadvertently do good things. There was surely no noble cause involved in rescuing this movie from the scrap heap. They saw opportunity. They were like, wow, dollar signs. Do we have to call it the crow? Can't we just call it cha-ching? Basically, Paramount felt that it was bad for business. It's called showbiz for a reason. Enter the W Brothers. They smelled cash all over this thing, so they were like on it like stink on shit. They were just like, ooh, 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 this is gonna make bank. We can fucking sequelize this. We'll, we'll make it into a franchise. <laughs> the fact that this abomination even exists is a slap in the face to the fans and to Brandon Lee. Yeah, fuck this movie. I mean, it, it doesn't alter the original film, obviously. The only way it would have been acceptable is if they went back and followed the source material and made it right. Just leave the crow alone, okay? Stop making these movies. You keep fucking it up. You can't do it. Obviously, it's just not going to work out for you. So, you know, unless you're going to remake one of the other comic series, like Flesh and Blood, you know, that'd be an interesting premise for... And it's got a female lead. What a concept. A movie with a female lead? It seems like a good time to make that kind of a movie should have adhered more closely to the original book, as they had planned. What the fuck went off the rails here? That's what I want to know. It looks nothing like the graphic novel story. They went a completely different direction with it, and I hate it already. I haven't even seen the movie, and I hate it already. What's up, James O'Barr? Like, was this your idea? <laughs> Did you come up with this shit, or was your hand forced? They never managed to achieve anything close to the level of success the first movie had with the TV series, which rang false to me, or any of the sequels. You just need to stop it. Just stop it. Get some help. City of Angels wasn't terrible. Okay, that might be an unpopular opinion, but I wish they would release the director's cut, but I didn't hate the movie that came out in the theaters. It wasn't as good as it could have been, obviously, but, uh, I mean, it was alright. It was certainly much better than either of the following films. But, I mean, it was a completely different tone, a totally different look. They changed up the details enough and shit. It wasn't supposed to be the first movie, but then the W Brothers came in and chopped it all to hell, and it's like, well, we gotta make this more like the first movie, because the first one made cha-ching, ching, cha-ching, ching, ching. So, yeah. Well, we want this to be a clone of that, if we can. Bankity bank bank. <laughs> the planets were all in alignment, you know, everything came together just perfectly for that first movie, and it remains unmatched. Hollywood, we're tired of the same old regurgitated shit. Give us something original, or, or do something better than it was. Don't make a remake shittier than the first time you made it. Don't give us something worse and don't give us a shot for shot remake of the first fucking movie. It's already been done. We don't need to see that shit. Nobody wants to see that shit. Hey, here's an idea. How about a good remake for a change? See, they captured lightning in a bottle so perfectly with that first movie and each subsequent attempt to duplicate it has been progressively worse. Brandon Lee's spirit has cursed this production. It finally got made, but goddamn, it was an arduous road, wasn't it? That should have been, like, a, that should have been a red flag, you know? Maybe if they won't listen to the fans, they'll finally listen to the universe. It's telling you to stop. <laughs> There's a reason why it was so hard to get this movie made. They kept throwing everything at you that they could to get you to quit. And you're just like, no, fuck it, we're going to persevere, you know? And for what? What did it get you? You finally got the movie made with that Skarsgård dude, who frankly I'm not very impressed with anyway. What is up with this guy? Does he just want to build a reputation as the remake dude? Like, he already did an inferior version of Pennywise, and now this. He should just stick to movies like Barbarian. 
Ed Lee is spinning in his grave right now, and his dad too, probably. You're tearing me apart! All the shit that they went through to get this movie made, all the numerous actors and directors that were attached to it, all the false starts, you know, that was a sign. The universe was trying to tell you something. It was the ghost of Brandon Lee trying to sabotage this shit because it's an abomination and it shouldn't exist. The original movie might have been born out of greed and opportunism, but this one was born out of demonic sleaze. I hope it was worth it to generate minimal profit. Maybe you'll make five bucks off of it. You know? Good, good on you. You feel, you feel good about yourself? Nice going. You really, you really made the world a better place, didn't you? I'm not going to pay to see it. I refuse to support this garbage. I'm not going to give the studio one nickel of my fucking money for this shit. Maybe it'll finally send a message to these studios. Fuck you and your shitty remakes. Suck it. Maybe if we all just avoid it, like the plague that it is, it'll just slowly die and fade into obscurity and we can never mention it again. Just don't fuck with this anymore. Seriously, this looks like the biggest cinematic clusterfuck since Halloween ends. Suck it! So, in summation, it looks like a pile of excrement and... I'm not the least bit excited or intrigued by it. It just looks like a big cringe fest, and I don't know. Maybe I'll get drunk and hate watch it one night. You know, bootleg it or fucking use a free Redbox code or something. But they're not getting any of my money. Nope. I'm gonna vote with my dollar. Thumbs down. Two thumbs down.